Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to another SPSS tutorial video. So today we're gonna have another look once again at regression and we're gonna take a look at mediation. Uh, I really recommend watching episode 15 and 17 first because they explain a lot on mediation and in regression and you kind of need to understand that before you can uh, yeah before you can watch this video if you already know the basics of mediation then there's no need to uh, uh, rewatch them uh, but you're obviously always welcome to if this video is helpful to you then please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel more SPSS videos are on the way Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the effect from job on the uh, job tier, which is categorical, on income and with salary as a mediator. And if you would put that into a model, it would look something like this. Your job tier has an effect on your income. If your job tier increases, so you go from a uh, tier 1 to a tier, tier to a tier 2 job, then your income increases. But a salary is a mediator for this, because if your job tier increases, then your salary increases and because your salary increases your income increases so salary is an explanation for the main effect and therefore it's a mediator and not a confounder or a moderator so the first arrow so the first effect is from the independent variable being job tier to the mediator being salary and this uh, this arrow uh, and this effect is always called a and the second effect we're going to look at today is from salary, so the mediator to the dependent variable being income. And this effect is always called B. We're not going to take a look at the main effect today. What we determined in uh, episode 17, which is the Baron and Kenny method, is uh, that the total effect of these three, of the three arrows, is uh, uh, if you uh, follow the, their formula and look at the betas, then it's uh, equal to the total effect of job tier to income if you would ignore the mediator. But today we're going to take a look that if you know the effects of A and B, uh, then you can ca use the Sobel test to determine whether this effect as a whole, so whether this mediator, so this mediation, is significant or not. And we're going to use the Sobel test to do that. And you can just uh, Google for uh, you can just Google for Sobel test. Uh, I'll show it now. Uh, Sobel test calculator, and then it's like the first uh, web page you open. And if you then scroll to the bottom, you'll get over here. So, uh, and what you need to uh, do is the easiest method. There are two ways to do this, but the second one is the easiest, which means that you need to insert the t value of the first arrow and the t value of the second arrow in effect so we're just going to do a regression to find out what those t values are the first uh, once again as a reminder the the a arrow the a arrow is from the independent to the mediator so we're going to go to spss open analyze regression linear then the independent in this case is job tier and the dependent in this case is salary being the mediator. Then you press paste. If you didn't have a syntax already, it will open right now. Then you select the regression lines and press the big green play button. Then you go to the bottom and you go to the coefficients table and you'll see that the job slope is very significant and has a T value of 5.780. So we go to the Sobel test and insert for the T value of the A arrow is 5.780. Apologies if you can hear the kids screaming in the background. I sadly can't mute them. <laughs> I sadly can't mute them. Uh, and then we need the T value, uh, the T value for the B arrow. If you look at the B arrow, it was for, for the effect of salary on income. So we go once again back to our data set. We go to analyze, regression, linear. We've removed the previous two variables and this time we're going to take salary as the independent and income as the dependent variable. You press paste, go to your syntax, syntax, select the lines, press the big green play button. And then if you go to the bottom to the coefficients table, you see that the effect of salary on income is also significant and that the T value is 5.390. So we put that, insert that over here, 5.390. And if you then press calculate, 
you'll see that the Sobel test, which is the bottom line, oh, which is the top line, says that the test, the test statistic is 3.942, if you round it off to three decimals. And if it is above 1.96 or below minus 1.96, then it is uh, significant. And we can also take a look at the p-value for that, which is in this case is smaller than 0.01. So in this case, we have determined via the Sobel test that the mediation as a whole is actually significant. So that's how you can use the Sobel test to find out whether uh, your mediation is significant by inserting the t by inserting the t values of the first effect and the second effect. Okay, that was it. I hope this was helpful uh, for you. If it was, then please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I want to make BuzzVSS grow as much as possible. So any help would be uh, very much welcome. If you have any more questions, then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And for now, guys, I'm out. Bye.